Dear friends, welcome back. Let's continue our Nata series from where we left off. Without further ado, let's just get started. We can switch over to the Kaninix VM. I've already opened up this Nata site, and I'd like to copy this URL as starting point. And we can put into the address bar, and should be 14. Press enter. Natas 14. And we can copy the password from notebook. Sign in. All right. So this is the user login, a panel or form. So I think this challenge has a lot to do with the user authentication. Of course, I've already gone through this technique uh, throughout my channel. But uh, you know, this is a bit different. We can view the source code, we can open link in the new tab. And as you can see here, we'll check the array, the request, if the request has user name. Of course, if you check a source code, and the, this should be the user name, right? So this is one of the key. And another key name is password. <clears throat> and next, we'll connect to, this is the PHP function to connect to the database. Connect to the MySQL, and this should be the user name and also the passwords. And then next, we'll select database and the data, database and the first parameter is the link. And the second one is the database name. And then we'll make a query. So we'll select all of columns from users table where user name is equal to the, you know, the user name submitted by the post and also the password. And if array key exists, a uh, debug and then we'll echo the executing query. And then we'll do here. This is the we'll retrieve the rows. Right? And if the rows, the number of rows is larger than zero, it means that uh, the username and password is correct. And then the password for the next level. Not as 15 would be printed out. Otherwise, we'll echo access denied. So I think we need to manipulate this query statement. Of course, this case is very simple. We just, uh, you know, we can manipulate the username or password field. So for example, we can use uh, here, we can use the all, uh, all one is equal one. Of course, in any case, one is equal one would be true. And uh, and then uh, followed by the dash dash to come out uh, anything be uh, after it, after it. Okay. So, and then the query will be no problem, right? We'll, we'll retrieve the information from the table. It means that uh, this number of the rows will be larger than zero. Okay, let's test it now. We can put like admin or anything. And of course, we need to use double codes because you can see here, uh, we need to use double codes and then we can all one is equal one and followed by the dash dash and space and the password field we can, you know, put anything, okay? Now, if we click, you know, this comment sign or symbol or character will come out, comment out anything uh, after uh, this, okay? So, and the or means uh, whatever admin is correct or not, but uh, one is always equal to one. So we now we can click login. 
as you can see, we successfully log in. The password for the next level is this one. We can copy and we can paste in our notebook. Natas 415. All right. So I think that's all I like to do in this video. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day. Please.